Okay, so the next item as well, the chances are you're not going to want your toolbars to be set in exactly the same way as the, as the standard install. You're probably going to want to customise it, make your own toolbars, rather than just having them as they're set. So you can access this through the Tools menu. You notice in the drop-down you've got an option to customise the interface. And what this does, it allows you to add different menus, new toolbars, and you can add all the information that you want onto these toolbars. So you might want to have all your sort of drawing tools, such as lines, circles, arcs. You may want to have the print commands. And what you can also do is save out this customization file. So then if you transfer it from another machine, or if you reinstall DraftSite and you've lost all your settings, at least you've got those saved as a backup that you can bring back. So let's take a look at how this works. Under the Tools menu, you'll notice if you go to Customize Interface, it brings up on the left-hand side, Commands, Interface, Mouse Actions. You can also change the keyboard settings, and you've got your user profiles at the bottom here. So under the Interface, if we just expand where it says Menus, you'll notice it's got all the sort of standard drop-down menus. And what it's doing is linked to the toolbars around here. So these are your drop-down menus. But if we go down to the toolbars, if I just minimize menus, these are all the items that you've got scattered around the screen here. So if I wanted to add a new one, you can right click and say new toolbar, and you notice it just calls it toolbar. So rather than just having it called toolbar, you can rename it. So if I call that the demo toolbar, but there's nothing on it at the moment. If I move my mouse cursor over to the right hand side, you've got this icon, which is to show the command explorer. So similar kind of setup to it in SolidWorks, you can actually search for items that you want to add. So if I just type in line, you'll notice I can left click and just drag it onto my new toolbar. And if I expand the plus sign, we've got the line sitting underneath it. So I'm just going to search for rectangle, and then I can just left click and drag that over onto the demo toolbar. We're going to add a couple more items on here. I'm just going to look for print and then I can also just drag that over as well and we can also have like configuration manager for the printer. But the problem is it's put them in the same category. If you wanted to actually divide up this toolbar so you don't have everything on it um, right next to each other, you'll notice on the ones here it actually has a divider between them. So if you right click on the toolbar you've added, you can actually add a separator, which just, just puts in this dashed line at the bottom. So there's nothing to stop you just dragging items underneath the separator, so you can have different classifications. If you want to save this, by default it will save the toolbar, but if you hit the plus sign, you can actually save this file, any changes that you've made in here, and you can rename that, and you can choose where you want to save the customization file. It's probably worth putting it on a network location, so you've always got it backed up in case you change machine. So each user can have one of these, so when you jump onto someone else's machine, you can load in your settings. So if I OK this now, if you go to your tools, sorry, if I right click, sorry, and if I go to the um, toolbars, even, you notice if I scroll down to the bottom here, I've got different options. I've got like a webinar toolbar, um, and then we can also make sure we've got our demo toolbar. So if I tick this now and activate it, you'll see it's here. Albeit I've only put four icons on it, but you'll notice it's got my separator in between them. Any of these toolbars that you want to turn off, you can right click. If you go to toolbars, you can choose to add them and take them away. So that's, that's no problem at all. But it's just quite a nice way of customizing the interface to do exactly what you want.